Hello, in this video we will show you how custom columns can be used to filter out information from the query editor. What if you have data in different columns that you need to combine and apply different filters to it? If you proceed to just filter out each column, you may not get the result you want. Let's see this example. We have some data set right here that includes resolution time average. Now in the month of February, the system had different problems that led to incorrect data. What we need to do here is to exclude from the report items from February with status X and with resolution time over 20 hours. An easy way to do this is to create a custom column that tells me whether this criteria is met or not, making this new column our custom filter. So let's do it. We first go to our query editor and all we have to do is go to the add column tab, click on create custom column. We can name this anything we want. For now, I will put in magic filter. And then, all we need to do is to write our conditions for the filter. It will be the resolution time over 20 hours, the month name of February, and the status X. Now all we do is to click OK and this will return true or false depending if the criteria was met or not. As you can see, this is a true false column and this will tell me whether the criteria I just put in is met or not so we can use this to filter out the information we don't want in the report. So let's try it out. We close the editor and apply the changes. And as you can see now, the new column is on the right and it's called Magic Filter. All we need to do is to drag and drop to the page level filters. And now we just want to select the false statement, which are all the items that we need in our report. By doing this, we have removed all the bad data that we didn't want and we are ready to have a better view of our data. As you can see in the report, everything is um, in a better way and everybody can understand what the data means. So we hope this video was useful for you and until next time.